Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video on my tattoos. Um, I'm age 14 and the reason my channel kind of blew up in the first place was down to my video um, doing myself a tattoo at age 14 because obviously that is kind of an unusual thing that you don't expect to see. I live in the UK and the age here to get a tattoo is 18 so you have to be an adult to do it. However, it is legal and obviously possible to do it on yourself if you have the right stuff. And you don't really need much, it can be really really cheap, you can pretty much do it for like under £10. I just buy I just buy sterile tattoo needles offline, I get um, Indian ink, which is not what I actually used in my first video, I originally had tattoo ink, but when that ran out I decided to get Indian ink because it's cheaper. So this is just the Winsor & Newton um, black Indian ink, which is also safe for your skin, and I think this is like £3. Then you just need surgical spirit and a bit of cream to put on it afterwards, and that's about all you need. My first tattoo was super simple, and then I've just actually finished up doing my most complicated one so far, which also has the most meaning to it, and I've been thinking about it for a little while, and yeah, I've just finished that one up this afternoon, which took me about two hours. Um, I know a lot of people always say I take really long to do them and that I could do them a lot quicker, but obviously when you're not using a stencil and you're only using like a felt tip pen to draw it on, it's never going to be completely straight anyway, so you want to take your time and try and make it as even and good looking as you can. Anyway, let's get on with the video and I'm going to go through the meanings of my tattoos. So as I said, I have six now. Number one is the first one I did, obviously, which is the one that I did in that video. It's super simple, it's literally just three lines. It always looks crooked when I put my hand up like this, like if I look at it this way it's completely like straight but for some reason I have to get it at an angle to show you guys. But yeah it's just these three little lines which are on my wrist. Um, when I was doing my first tattoo I was really nervous, I didn't know what to expect, how long it would take and so I did something really simple but obviously I liked it a lot. Um, there wasn't really a massive meaning behind it, I kind of created a meaning after a while that because my family unit when I was younger was always me, my mum, my nan and my dad, that it was three lines to represent the three of them. But I mean, I don't really think of it with much meaning, it really was just kind of like a simple design that I thought was cool. So yeah, that is what my first tattoo was. Tattoo number two that I'm going to show you is this one, which is yet again just lines, it's just two little lines, I promise they're not all just lines. But this one's just two lines and this one really has no meaning at all. I mean, it's kind of like equals and I guess that could mean something, but at the moment it doesn't. I kind of develop meaning with them after a little while sometimes. However, the other four do have meaning, but these two are just kind of simple ones because I just thought that the design was cool. And I have a thing, I really like finger tattoos, so yeah, that is that one. Number three is this one, which is on my middle finger. Now this one is actually matching with my best friend Amber. I'd been thinking about doing a cross on my finger for a while and she liked the idea too. And so when she was down with me at my house staying over, we decided that we would do them. And so we both did these little crosses on our fingers because she also stick and pokes herself. So we decided to do these and they're matching. And I know a lot of people will be like, never get matching ones for your friend, but We've been friends for six years, I can't see us not being friends, so we've done that and obviously as it's just a cross, it's not a name or anything, if we ever aren't friends then it, it can still have other meaning, it doesn't have to be matching, but they are matching tattoos and my mum also actually has it as well now, so the three of us are all matching. <laughs> Tattoo number four is the last one on my finger, so I have this like set of three, um, and this one is just three dots, so it's just dot dot dot. Three dots means to be continued, and often when I'm feeling down, I need to be reminded that things will get better and that life is to be continued no matter what happens, and so that was a reminder to myself, like dot dot dot, to be continued, life is to be continued no matter what it hits you with. Number four is on my ankle, and it is this one. This one is a triangle on my ankle, and the meaning is actually that it means gay pride. Um, it used to be a symbol kind of against gay pride, but over time the LGBT community has taken it back and used it as a symbol of pride. And so if you were unaware, I am part of the LGBT community, and so having that felt fitting. And the final tattoo that I've got, which is the one I've been doing today, and that is kind of sore right now because it's very new, is this one right here. This is definitely the most prominent one I have, um, and... It obviously still looks very sore at the moment because it is fresh. I'll put in close-up clips of all of these tattoos, but this one says sugar and there is a very deep meaning behind that for me. My dad passed away when I was 12, so two years ago. Before he passed away, like my whole life, I have remembrance of him calling me sugar. That was just like his nickname for me. It was always like, you're right, sugar, when he like picked me up from school. I don't know, he always just used to call me sugar. That was just his nickname for me. And I wanted to get a tattoo to represent my dad, and so I thought, you know, the most fitting thing I could possibly get is sugar, because that's what he used to call me. Also, I like the way word tattoos look. Really like, and I like the meaning behind it a lot too. So yeah, that is all of my tattoos. Um, no doubt there will be more to come, but as of right now, that is where we're at with them. 
But yeah, so far so good. Haven't regretted any of them, haven't messed up any of them, and I like all of my tattoos. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you all next time. Mwah. Goodbye!